Hey guys, this is Michael from uh, SAE. I'm uh, going to go over a uh, video here on creating animation within Photoshop. Um, normally uh, for 2D animation, you may be using Flash, uh, but now Photoshop allows you to create your little 2D animations, as you can see from the timeline down the bottom here. Um, I'll just scrub through this. Here's a little animation of creative a bouncing ball. Um, I'll just turn off onion skin so you can see it in it all its glory. I'll just hit play. There it is. It's 12 frames per second. You can change the frame rate. So just a little bouncing ball. Okay. Now to set this up, um, I'll start from scratch just to show you all. So I won't save that. So I'll go file, new, and what's important here is the preset. You need to change it to film and video. So I've got film and video and then put in your um, the size, so the frame size that you wish, etc. Um, then click OK. There we go. Now, if you don't see the timeline, which you probably won't, you need to come up to Window, Workspace, Turn on motion and then you'll see the timeline down the bottom. Now there's a few other little things we need to do to um, just set up the initial animation to get moving. Um, rather than clicking create video timeline or you actually first off create frame animation not video timeline. So go frame animation. Okay and click there. There's our first little frame. And then up here, if we go layer, come all the way down to video layers. New blank video layer. Here we have our first video layer. So that's the initial setup, okay? Now, from here, we can this is the other important little button over in the right here. Click this. Make sure you... I like to have loop playback on. Here's the important ones here. Is one, enable onion skinning. This allows you to see your pre-images pre um, and post uh, sketches that you draw. So I like to go onion skin settings first. I'll put in here pre. I'll say I'd like to at least see four and after frames, well, maybe just the one. Opacity, I'll go say 30%. Actually, I'll change that to 40. Hit OK. Now I'll turn on onion skinning, which is on already. I like to also have enabled timeline shortcut keys. Turn that on too. It's going to be much easier for you to scrub through the timeline. Okay, um, set timeline frame rate, this is important as well. So I'll click that. At the moment it's set to 25 by default. I'm going to change that to say, say 12. Okay, just for the sake of the tutorial. Of course you could change it to 24, whatever you wish. So there's my little timeline. I can zoom in here a little bit down the bottom. And now that I have, I've enabled um, timeline shortcuts, I can just use my arrow keys to go through the times. So I'll start from number one. By the way, you can add audio track as well if you want to have background audio. So now I'll start the process of drawing my little animation. Go to my next frame. I'm just using the arrow keys. Start speeding up here. It's dropping, it's dropping, 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 dropping here, and then about here, it's going to start to compress. Next frame. Now that's four or five frames. The next frame, these ones, the tail will start to disappear. We'll have a bit of a compression there. See that? That's our onion, onion skinning kicking in. Now we 
take off. Not perfect, it's just a quick tutorial just to show how Photoshop works with animation. And you can get a bit of a squash happening here. By the way, I'm using a mouse, so um, I would highly recommend using a Wacom tablet. Get a lot better quality. And down it comes again. Very rough animation I'm creating here, guys. But uh, you get the drift. And perhaps about here, it might go... quickly just making a little explosion okay So that's the end of my animation. Let's have a look how it goes. To actually view it, I'm going to drag back through. I'm going to turn off onion skinning. Okay, over here. Enabled onion skinning. I'll just turn that off. And we'll hit play and check out my little creation. Boink, 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 boom. Fantastic. Okay, now. Um, after I'm happy with the animation, of course you could go to any of these frames and correct them. For example, I might come here and correct this a little bit. You can use all your normal t tools and you know, erase it and then paint it and you might even want to change colors, etc. Just to show you all. Okay, play that one back, boom. You can do a whole bunch, you can even place, oh, um, background video if you wish, which would be layer. Remember you've got to come down to video layers. A new blank layer would be for a new simple video layer on top, or you can go new video layer from file. So if you wish to place a video footage in the background, you would use that one. Okay. So there you go. Um, next up, you would want to uh, save your creation, which you can do in uh, two ways. You can either go, for example, over here, render video, or alternatively, file, export, render video. And I'm using H.264, you could create a quick time movie if you wish and save it all through there. Okay guys, um, or alternatively you could save for the web as a GIF. Save for web and I believe in here you need to change back to a legacy format. Um, so I'll change that just quickly to say a GIF. Okay, and then save it out. Okay, guys, hope that was uh, helpful and uh, happy animating. Thanks for watching.